Welcome in this video in which we are going to learn how to simulate, to download and to debug an application. In order to be able to simulate a resource, I have first to edit the property of this resource. I have to check that the option code for simulation is set to true and I can also check the online behavior value. The default value is always. It means that this resource will be always simulated and debug. I can also check design. That's what I'm going to do for the resource number two. It means that this resource will never be simulated or debugged. I will choose to go now in simulation. So I choose simulation and I click on the start icon. I can see now that my resource number one is running and I don't see anything for my resource number two because it's in design mode. I see that some windows has been opened when I have started the simulation. It's the simulator task with the configuration manager on one window ISA VM per resource. Actually, I have a FBD program. It means a graphical program, so I can act on each variable just by double clicking on this variable. So a variable, a Boolean variable which is true, the color will be red. A, variable, a Boolean variable which is false, the color will be blue. I can also open a spy list to act and to monitor some uh, chosen variables. For the ST, for example, I cannot see the value of the variable. So in this case, I have to use the spy list and to add the variables I want to monitor in the spy list. I can also work with the dictionary. So I will create a vertical group with my program and the dictionary and I can change the, vari the value of my variable in the dictionary and see the result in my FBD program. I'm stopping now the simulation and I will change for the resource number two the property online behavior to set always. I'm going now to download these two resources on my devices. I'm going to change the target used for both resources and in the deployment view I'm going to edit the IP address corresponding to each of these resources. So I set the IP address of my device number one and I do the same for my device number two. I just have to rebuild my solution. Okay, and then I can download my project. So both resources will be downloaded on both devices. I then choose to go online. I see that both resources are, are running. And if I open one FBD program, I see that the same way that I've done before in simulation, I can act on my variable and see the result of my function block CTUD, for example, here. Okay. Um, another thing I can show you is how to lock and lock a variable. For example, this variable is set to false by my program, but I can lock it and modify the value to true. I can do exactly the same, for example, in this ladder program. I can take my, variab my variable pump1 and force it to true. I see the little lock symbol uh, appearing close to my variable. Uh, a plugin named locked variable viewer allow me to see all my variables which are locked in my program and I can unlock them in only one action. Um, another plugin is the controller status. I can see the status of each of my controllers. These two are running with, I can monitor the cycle time and also the number of locked variables in each of them. If I log back my eater variable, I can see that I have one variable locked in this resource. This video is now finished. If you want to contact us, you can write us at support at isagraph.com or superwrap at isagraph.com.